Hi, I'm Debbie Duncan from PsychicFixes.com and I'm here today doing a video for you on personal and home protection. And that's protection from um, anything that's dark, energy, things like that. Or if you get um, a spirit in your house or something's going on and you just feel uneasy in your home. Okay, well, first thing is uh, that I want to talk about is your psychic alarm. That's what I call it. When you just have that knowing that something's off, uh, it's the gut feeling. So when you have a gut feeling, know that you're probably right and you've got to find out what's going on. Um, some people will come to me and they will tell me that they feel it in their chest and that they know something's wrong because their chest hurts. That's really, i found, to be just stress and anxiety and the muscles tensing up. So really, uh, I believe it comes from your gut feeling down here. And when you get that feeling of butterflies or a sinking stomach, then find out what's going on around you. So that's the first thing that I want you to use is your psychic alarm. Uh, basically, what everyone uses when they think of personal protection, they think of putting energy around you and or energy out. So. A lot of people will envision white light around them and that's your protection and then say a prayer or ask for the other side or for God to protect you or Jesus or the angels. So you envision light around you. Um, if you were to work with some people, uh, maybe even the Wiccan ways, you'd see that they're probably using colors or envisioning even a material like gold. So um, it is envisioning um, an energy around you that will protect you, okay? And always a positive, and we always think as white as being pure and so, and coming from God. So that's probably the best color for you to start out with for protection. Um, the next thing is uh, if you do feel ever in trouble is to go ahead and call upon and uh, for an angel to help or preferably an archangel. So you can go ahead and get yourself uh, a book on angels or just look on the internet and you can get familiar with the different angels and you can even call them by name. Of course, Archangel Michael would be somebody that you'd want to come if you had something that really scared you to uh, for protection or to even to get it away from you. So if you had a, a, a negative or a dark energy in your home, and you were afraid you would just say out loud, call for Archangel Michael to come and help you and, and to actually get it out for you. So that is one thing you can do is call upon the angels. Um, if you wanted to uh, uh, explore the Wiccan way, you can get some of Scott Cunningham's books. And I happen to have uh, a couple here, the Magical Herbs and the um, ones about oils and incense. And um, if you work with a practitioner, they could even make you a candle if they wanted to for protection. Um, I would say not to be doing the candles on your own without working with a practitioner. Now I've made purity candles that I have already wrapped here. And um, they can be uh, burnt for just a few minutes at a time and if anything, uh, it cleanses your home, purifies your home. If anything was in your home, it'd probably find the energy and get rid of it. So do um, uh, see if you're interested in doing something like that where they're hand dipping um, the candles and infusing them with energy and, and herbs and oils that is earth magic, then you would uh, find and explore that Wiccan way. Uh, also, uh, there are practitioners that would put wards in the corners of your house, infuse those with energy and make a dome around your house or a big circle around your house. It's another way of using energy. Um, okay, so uh, another thing that I thought about was I found a uh, song that I thought was very, very strong and if anything was in your house or in your car even, uh, if anything goofy was going on with your car and you wanted to kind of cleanse it, uh, you can play music. So you can play Christian music or whatever music you feel is powerful and resonates with you.
for me, it was Our God Reigns Here by John Wall, a very, very powerful uh, song about anything bad, get out. So I recommend trying that also. Um, and do pray and surround your car with, uh, with your white light and, and make up a little prayer or saying, um, I say, may the white light of Jesus Christ surround and protect this vehicle and its occupants, get us safely to where we're going and home again. So you mean you can just always just throw a little white light around your car when you're driving or even others. You can do it long distance if you know your teenagers are driving. Just, just surround them with that white light, some protection. Okay, um, sage is a very powerful, uh, uh, plant that's been used uh, by Native Americans and um, well just about everybody the Wiccans everyone uses sage uh, so they a lot of different beliefs on sage um, and uh, the way to take it and on uh, psychicfixes.com please just go over to the video on sage and I'll show you how you can pick it I'll show you uh, how to smudge and everything about it and uh, you can get the full information there so sage is something that you can do to sage your house or keep fresh sage in your house okay and let it just dry out so you can use it later to for the smoke uh, don't ever use any of the oils and the and the and the herbs and everything if you're allergic to it you will if you light it in in a candle or like sage in a bowl or something you're going you could get become allergic to that as well as if you light some things that might be poison then you're going to have that toxic smoke so you don't want to do any of that you want to know what you're doing before you do that um, okay so you can use sage to cleanse your home and around you like your aura you can do that um, salt also, just plain salt. You can get any kind of salt that you want. You could put salt lines across thresholds and you can use salt for many different ways to cleanse. And there's a way to discard it. So do go to psychicfixes.com and watch the video on using salt. And I'll tell you all about how, do, how to work with that, that mineral. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is holy water. And kind of researching it, I believe that its origins are from the Catholic Church because I was wondering if it was in the Bible. And so it's fine because what we're doing is we're, we can take something and consecrate it, bless it, and use it for protection or for healing or for different things like that. So a holy water, you can just get yourself, you get yourself water, you can get a container that says holy water whatever now if you want you can go to a catholic church and you can get water right from that take a clean container and go get it and 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 fill it up if not you can make it yourself and as long as you're using it you know for good intentions and everything there's no wrong way to bless water or even anointing oil which we'll talk about in a minute so you always um, take your take your uh what you want to bless and you talk to God and you state your intentions for its use and you thank God for it and uh, and bless it. Um, you can get uh, online uh, a prayer also depending on what you're going to use it for. If you're going to use it for to dispel spirits or any of that stuff there is like uh, I found a little uh, like poem uh, prayer that you can say with it which I thought was really handy if you're going to go in and and fight anything that dark energy in a house please don't go fight any any dark energy in a house if you're going to do anything find out how to bless a house and maybe I'll do a uh, video on that but never go after anything dark number one it can go home with you and uh, and it can hurt you so don't do that now if you bless the water and I do have some examples here you can go online like I said there's no wrong way and it'll give you examples like to take uh, the water and um, 
uh, have it as in an open container though and state uh, that you're talking to God in a prayer and um, and God is giving you the you know uh, is granting the blessing and that um, and um, you know just say your blessing and what it's good and the intention of what it's going to go for and then if you were wanted to do it more of a Christian way you'd say in Jesus name or with God's authority this is blessed and you can do whatever you want there's no no wrong way really you're stating an intention for it a good way to use holy water once you have it consecrated or you go get it from the church is to put it in a spray bottle and you get when you're using it in a house or whatever you can get corners and you can get up higher and it can spread so uh, there's just a tip uh, that's what I think is the best way to use holy water is in a spray bottle um, so if you uh, feel like you need to be an ordained minister or it needs to come from an ordained minister to be able to bless anything, uh, you can get someone to do that for you or go to the church and get it or you can go online to Universal Life Church and you can get an ordination right online instantly. So if you really feel that you need to do that, you can become an ordained minister and you can bless that. If that's if you feel that you need to have that to bless it. The next thing that I have here is um, talking about anointing oil. You can find out how to do that on the internet. I found an excellent uh, video that someone did on YouTube and where she just showed where you just take it. And now she just would, you know, do a little smear above windows and doors. And then you just say what your intention is. No, no evil will come into this home. No evil will get through this window or whatever you want to do in in the name of uh, Jesus or God or, or whatever you want to say. Um, anointing oil is the same as for uh, water and you use olive oil. And if you were to go buy some of Scott Cunningham's things, you might put a few drops of essential oil in there, like a strong one that protection, I believe it's clove or, uh, you'll have to look it up, but I believe that you might put a couple of scented uh, essential oils in there. And it, it lasts a long time as long as you're not using something from a blend or you're not using extract or something like that, you're using essential oils and using olive oils, it should last for a long time. And so, you can put it in a container. I just found one at a local store and pour it in and do your blessing and, and state your reason, your purpose for it. Um, if you're going to use it for healing, do go online and, and look at uh, all the ways that you can use it for healing if someone's sick and such. Um, but we're talking about protection today. So I put it in and I probably wouldn't use essential oil because I'm putting it on paint or whatever. So olive oil, and then you can um, state your purpose and all that and get it and bless it. And then put the top on it and you're ready to use it. You could do a sign of the cross if you don't want to. Just put the little schmear and just say what you want to say. A powerful thing uh, when you do it and your intention that nothing, nothing bad is going to get past here. There's a lot of things you can do with your doorway. You know, you put your salt line or uh, you can uh, look at the things like in Scott Cunningham's books on magical herbs, they used to put dill. So fresh dill, Ralph's has it, really cheap, big thing of fresh dill. You can put fresh dill over your door. I think there's a lot of things. If you really sit down and you get the book and you read it or you go online, uh, you probably can find garlic is hung, maybe onions all kinds of things. So another avenue of you to put something on your door so nothing can get in and your windows also. So um, another thing you can do if you get into a meetup group on drumming, you can maybe learn drumming. You can drum in your house to make things go out. Also you can clap in the corner. So you'd actually go over to up, up like this and clap and clap and clap up in the corners. Uh, and, you know, there's this, people think that they, the spirits or the energy doesn't like it. So um, if you don't want it in your house, 
uh, you would want to make it leave. Um, okay, so once you pur purify your home and you've saged it and you've done all the other th all these things that you can do, and you really feel like the atmosphere is really good in your home, then you want to keep it that way. Do know that people can that come into your home can bring things with them. Teenagers bring things with them, so keep up that um, that cleansing of your home. If anyone comes in, visitors or whatever afterwards, you know, do what you need to do to feel that you have cleansed anything that has come in with anyone. Um, if you feel like you have a negative energy or dark energy or entity in your home and you can't get it out and you feel uneasy and things happen because things do happen. Things fly in the house and lights do stuff. The things that uh, are unexplainable and you've checked everything for a reasonable, logical uh, reason, but they continue and you just have that feeling, the gut feeling and the eerie feeling that that something's dark and something's negative in your house, then you need to consult uh, someone who's more in the professional way to uh, not just uh, bless a house. You need someone to come and cleanse it and clear it out. So do you could find someone probably from a local uh, a spiritualist church, may know someone or a meetup group in um, that kind of genre. You do word of mouth would probably have some people that can come over. You don't need a Ghostbuster. They're all, and that's fun. That's fun to go chasing ghosts and they'll come in and everything and they'll tell you, yeah, you have a ghost. Well, that didn't get rid of the ghost. Okay, so um, go after someone who will go and um, actually clear them out. And, and it's great if you get someone that will have them go to the light. Then there's difference between a spirit that you that doesn't know where they're at and you want to lead them to the light and they go to God and it's great. There's some dark things out there and so those are things that need someone who can can uh, is strong enough to get something out that just isn't uh, a spirit you know wandering around. So um, and uh, one thing that you should try first is to just do a house blessing. Um, I would do that, uh, go in and find out about that or have somebody come over and do a nice house blessing after you cleanse your home. And that'll be um, just great. It should lift the atmosphere up and just make things go really well. And like I said, once you get it blessed, just keep it up. And so that's what I have on that subject, and I really uh, thank you for listening to me tonight and that you go on and watch the other videos that we have for you on PsychicFixes.com. Thank you.